Long time no see, my friend. Worthy, when did you get back into town? Oh, uh, just a month or so ago. Things didn't work out in Orzammar. You aren't still working for Athenral, are you? Your year must be up by now. Still trying to ferret out everyone's business, I see. <laughs> of course. How else do you expect a dwarf to make a living? I'll tell you what. I still have my old contacts. You need some rune crafting done, I can arrange it for you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. You don't seem to... your brother very much and here I thought it took blood magic to read minds I had a twin brother Carver he used to nail my braid to the bed while I was sleeping I never thought I'd miss him this much sorry about your brother hey you want mine I got a spare Day, sir. Aveline. Hello, Hawk. Been a while, hasn't it? What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. You know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, I... Well, you're no child, but I take care of my friends. The places they have me patrolling, I've got time. Still having trouble? I thought you were past all that. Lately, I don't know. I've been pushed out to some dead patrols. Maybe I stepped on someone's toes. You can be... forceful. My charm, right? I should be able to go where I'm needed. In fact... I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. Seems like Kirkwall suits you. It has been a challenge. Lots of opportunity. If you're the type the locals want. Are you? If you argue enough, you kind of convince yourself. It's been a year settling in. Are you all right? You don't need to coddle me. I am where I am. How close I hold my memories is my own business. This must be a very different pace from serving King Caelan. I love that life. But there's a new king for a new Ferelden. Seems cocksure, but I guess he was there when the Archdemon fell. Can't fault an active hand. It's just one more change, though. The real end for me was Ostagar. 
You and Carver must have felt something similar. I don't know if that's right to say. I barely knew him. Death on that scale certainly has a finality to it. Sometimes I wonder. The blight is over. You could go back to Lothering. That wasn't home for me. It was just where the Horde pressed us. It wasn't the first village I saw fall. But you don't get used to people losing everything. It's not how I wanted to say goodbye. I'll say that. You can't go home again. That's supposed to be about maturity. It's not the same if you don't have the option. All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing. My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. High women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. You have a name, or anything else to go on? Not important. If we show up and they attack, they're bad. Simple as that. I'll wager it's smugglers, though. Like I said, seems like an obvious trap for a caravan. You've been nosing around outside your commission? I have contacts. And they're complaining about a lack of meat. Thugs and such. Someone is hiring. And one or two were told to prepare for travelers. You want to be good at this job? You pay attention to what's missing, and when people arrange escape routes. Seems like you'd want to share this with your fellow guards. I will, if you sit on your hands. I'll send my alerts, and someone else will lead a patrol. But there's profit and influence to be had. You're my friend, so I'm offering. I'm no guard, Aveline. There's only so many of us. Temporary recruits are expected time to time, as long as they're competent. You still claim to be competent, right? Aveline, you've got yourself a partner. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're acting on behalf of the Guard. Do you ever wish you lived in Orzammar? My, my. If it isn't Hawk. Good to see you again, Elegant. Lady Elegant, if you don't mind. I'm a married woman now. Last time we met, you were still in Athenral's employ. Things have been going well since then. It isn't always easy, but things are going well enough. That's wonderful to hear. You may recall I sometimes provided potions for a Thenril. I'd be willing to extend you the same courtesy if you like. All I ask is you inform me of any interesting reagents you find. In exchange, I'll approach my contacts on your behalf. And of course you'll need the appropriate recipes, such as this one. Free, for old time's sake. 
Merchants Guild has their fingers in all these pies. Well, not the actual pies. They're clean as far as I know. The Chantry is open to all. Come, rest your heart and hear the words of our prophet. Hard to believe they left me nothing. Well, Mother was pretty steamed when you ran off with your Ferelden. I'm still their daughter, their eldest.
My children have been in servitude. Servitude for a year. They should be nobility. If wishes were poppy, we'd all be dreaming. Why was nothing set aside for us, uncle? Your mother was supposed to marry the Comte de Lance, and instead she ran off with some Ferelden apostate. You don't get to stay the favorite when you do that. Where is father's will? If I could just see for myself. It's not here, all right? It was read, it went in the vault. No one needed to look at it again. I know the Amels were nobility, Mother, but not much else. Why don't you ever talk about them? The Amels have been a noble family in Kirkwall since Garahel drove out the Fourth Blight. But we've always carried magic in our blood. It's been a stain on our lineage. No family of good standing would ever marry into a line with magic. When I chose your father, I was bringing more magic into our line, not less. I think that's what hurt my parents the most. Did Grandfather mention Mother in his will at all? Our father died when you were still in short pants, lad. You can hardly expect me to remember. Sounds like a yes to me. Please, Uncle. We have a right to see it for ourselves. Maybe so. But you won't be seeing the bloody thing. It's still locked up on the estate, and that's long out of my hands. You didn't take your parents' will. It was old news. You think I've been sitting here for 25 years waiting for Leandra to slink back? Who bought the estate, Gammon? Perhaps I could speak to them. Was it the Reinhardts? No one you know. Get used to Lowtown, sister. That's where we're going to stay. So, I hate thinking badly of family. But did Uncle Gamlin seem a little slippery when he talked about Grandfather's will? If he, say, invested money that was meant to be Mother's, do you think he would tell us? Gamlin can't say good morning without lying twice. Mother's been in such a fit of melancholy since Gamlin told her how angry her parents were about father. She told me she wishes she'd died with Carver. It's like coming here ruined every good memory of her childhood. I wish we could get some of it back. We need to get that will. Good. I'm glad we agree. Gamlin told me he gave the estate as payment to some slaver who beat him at dice. Apparently, our ancestral home is now a base for slavers from all over Thedas. How could Gamlin let that happen? I think there's a reason Mother didn't talk about him much. Seriously, though, those scum have no right to our family's things. We should break in there. Get the will for Mother. I already talked to both of them about this. Gamlin said they guard the front entrance well. But Mother gave me her old key. She said it should unlock the cellar. Apparently the sewers run right beneath the house.
There might be some stragglers before the main group. Nothing we can't handle.
We're close to the ambush hawk. Be ready. Well equipped for bandits, but dead is dead and the road is clear. Captain Jevon needs to know of this. Back to the barracks for your just reward. Done. How much longer do I have to wait? Not much room in the barracks, but there's nowhere I'd rather be. Hope the there's Jevon's office. Wait while I explain our initiative. I don't know how they do it where you're from, guardswoman, but I decide the patrols, not you and your whims. You may have been put up for lieutenant in your first year, but I'll have no show-offs in my command. Have I made myself clear? Report to your post before I have you and your Ferelden accomplice jailed. A lot of yelling for doing him a favor. We killed a band of highwaymen. What does it matter whose patrol it was? It's not the first time he's made me wonder like this. Something is very wrong. So let's find out whose toes you actually stepped on. Then we should check the duty roster and see who was supposed to take that route. What have I stepped in this time? 
threaten my friends. Not letting that one go, Captain. Aveline! I owe you for clearing that ambush the other night. Saved me a mess of trouble. Brennan, that route was yours? It was. Single patrol. I'd have been dead for sure. So there was nothing unusual about it at all? It had been clear for weeks. It didn't get unusual until after we heard about you and Aveline. The captain reassigned me after he heard what you did, and I passed the satchel to Donick for his patrol tonight. The satchel? Pay and order assignments. Captain has us run deliveries to the outposts during light duty. It's usually just an updated copy of the roster. The satchel for that night was heavy, though. Anyway, thanks again, Aveline. You're a good one. So the satchel gets heavy the same day we discover an ambush? You're sure you want to pursue this? This is your superior we're talking about. If a guard has been put at risk, a good captain would want to know why. And if he's not a good captain, I want to know why. A messy way to pass information. And Brennan already sent it along. Another guard is walking into the same trap. I can't let that happen. Brennan said Donick. A good man. Donick, Donick. I've got his route. A night walk in Lowtown. Let's go make sure his quiet patrol stays that way. Messer, please stop kicking the wall. a shortage of idiots who think they can take the streets in the dark, but a good reward in getting rid of them. Looks like a fight! Be ready! aren't safe at night. We should do something about that.
We can't waste time, Hawk. Guardsman Donick is here somewhere. We must be getting close to the ambush. I'm not losing now we guard fight! <laughs> Out of nowhere. I took a few down, but there were too many at once. The captain said this route was supposed to be quiet. The seal of the Viscount. Office details. City accounts. Valuable to a guild of thieves. A sacrificial delivery with one of our own. Captain Jevon will answer. Exposing this kind of corruption could make the guards look weak. Then we look weak. The others deserve better. This goes to the office of the Viscount. This will be known. The captain likes his thieves so much. Let's see if they welcome him in prison. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. How dare you! I am guard captain! I won't be treated like this! Veralden, bitch! This was none of your affair! I'll see you hanged! Quartered! This will not stand! We found a number of debts to suspect peoples. Such poor character. But you... Aveline Valen, have proven your loyalty and ability. The guard deserves better than him, Messer. Indeed. 
The Viscount would have you put your care for the men into direct practice. You will assume the captain's job. What? In due time, of course. There will be training, approvals, months at least. But who better to rebuild respect than the woman who exposed this embarrassment? Resolve any outstanding business, guardswoman. You will be very busy. I'm with you. Point the way, Hawk. Not much room Hawk in the barracks, but there's nowhere I'd rather be.